Hello everybody and welcome to the Craft Stash Blog Hop. So this video is taking part in a friendship blog hop. Today is Sunday the 7th of August and it is a National Friendship Day. So at Craft Stash we thought we would get together and uh, just do a little blog hop to celebrate friendship and the wonderful team that we've got at Craft Stash. Now, most of us you will probably know, we have Helen Griffin, who you've just seen, if you're following along with the blog hop in order. If not, you can go back and watch her video. She's the first in line. She has very kindly passed on this item to me. So uh, this is from her, um, one of her, ranges there's actually about mini albums but i'm going to be making a card with it which i'm really excited about so it's the sun sunshine windows and frames die set i've always had i've had my eye on this for a very long time and i know exactly what i'm going to do with it so stay tuned for that uh, i'm then going to be passing a gift on to the lovely sheena she is then going to be passing on to um sam calcott and sam is going to be passing on to christina griffiths when you've been through all the videos you'll then need to just go on to the Craft Stash channels and all the details are in the description below and of course they'll be on Christina's very last video so you'll know exactly where to go and you've got the uh, chance to win a bundle of craft goodies. So let's get on with the crafting. So come on down to my desk, let's pop you down here. So this is the die set that I'm using. I love this now I just love sun sunshine sunburst sun rays whatever you want to call it I think that's brilliant now usually I think I do this in yellow would be like my go-to with the blue behind but I'm gonna go rainbow colors I just can't uh, I just love a rainbow card so I've got two options here um, I could go with the sun rays being the rainbow color or I could go with the background being rainbow. I think because there's more of the sun rays um, I think I might go with them being the rainbow colour. So either way, I need to ink blend onto a piece of cardstock. Now what I'm going to do, so that I know where each of the rays are, I'm going to first of all die cut this, or rather than die cut, I'm actually going to kind of emboss it. So if I bring in my die cutting machine, this is just a guide for me for when I'm doing my ink blending. Let's just take this out. And I'm going to remove the thin plate. This is with a big shot. Obviously, if you've got other die cutting machines, you'll need to do this slightly differently. Uh, I'm just going to grab my black mat and put my plates back in. So there's one. Then there's my rubber mat. So most machines will come with a rubber mat. Uh, if yours don't, they're easily available otherwise. And then I'm going to put my paper down with my die on top. There we go. So all this is going to do is squish the die down into the paper, creating that impression of where the die cut will be. So run this through. There we go. Now, it's ever so faint. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but what that's done is given me a slight guide so I can see where each of the rays are. So when I do my ink blending, I'm keeping it in the right sort of space and try and keep everything as even as possible. Now I'm not going to go mad and try and do a different colour for every single sun ray because that would just be um, a little bit uh, adventurous. I don't think I'll quite do that. Let's just pop this to the side now. Now for my colours, I've gone for, again, the colours of the rainbow. It's how I always do my ink blending. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And then we go sort of indigo and pink that would then lead back into the red. So as we work in a circle, it's continuous. So I need a blending mat. This is a craft stash blending mat. Let's pop that under there. And we can start absolutely anywhere. Just as habit, I tend to start with red and I've got all my blending brushes here, but you don't have to. So lots of ink on here. Let's start up in this top corner. Now kind of gauge as well. So I've got seven colors. So I need to think about trying to split this into the seven colors. Easier said than done, I know. So, oh, I've got a bit of confetti on there. I don't know how that got there, I really don't. Just start blending. So I can see where the centre circle will be. And for each one, I do plan on probably coming back 
and blending in a little bit more as well so I'm not worried about this being um, perfect first time round I just want to really sort of lay my colours down and start planning where each colour will go to how far along it will go so there's the yellow so I'm kind of thinking I might need to space these out a little bit further the red might need to come round a bit further we shall see then I've got a nice bright yellow you see I'm taking each one from the centre making sure that colour is blended into the centre I'm going to come back with my orange I over, over that lapped that a little bit too much a bit more of the yellow we want lots of yellow don't we because it's kind of a sunshine page there we go let's go yellow into green so you notice with each of my colors they work together so yellow goes into green green goes into blue you see how the two colors go into each other there the same for the red and yellow go into orange um, what have we got we've got blue and purple now that goes into red so because you've got the pink there that's kind of like a red color so they both go into purple so you can see how things work together in that way let's bring this down this is the twisted citron I want quite a bit of this because I really love this color it's just a preference of mine <laughs> it's kind of a green but it's not a green it's a yellow as well so it mixes great with yellows and there we go nice and deep and you can keep laying color over and over and over until you're happy with how much you've got then i'm going to go with broken china which is a lovely bright blue so pink purple yeah i think we're getting i think we're we're going to be pretty pretty good for the spacing maybe went a bit too far with the twisted citron but we'll just bring this blue in into that a little bit further and we'll get a lovely teal between the two you can already start to see that coming here and if you've got plenty of ink down the blending shouldn't be an issue at all you might get a bit muddy as you can see in the middle there when you've cut this out it won't matter too much at all Right, so bring the blue over a bit further here because that's going to blend into... Do you know what? I want a bit more blue. I do like blue. Yeah, a bit more. We might come back to that. Next is the purple, wilted violet. These are kind of my go-to for a rainbow blend. I want to get... A, I've got a fossilised amber there. I think I'm going to get myself a brighter orange though. I think I have got scattered straw but I've got that in the, uh, oh, I want squeezed lemonade. That's the one I don't have, squeezed lemonade. That's the really bright one, isn't it? So some of the inks you'll find are wetter than others, easier to apply than others. That just might be uh, how you've stored your ink pad. The brushes as well, how you've used and washed those in the past. If you've not just, if they're not brand new and you've not just used them, for this you may find that you've got something on there that's made the bristles a little bit harder and less flexible that can make a difference too so um, what I'd say is if you've got an ink pad that's not performing the way you want to and it's not quite as juicy as you'd like store it upside down to start with and um, wash your brush thoroughly with warm soapy water and allow it to dry as it's drying keep moving it around so it doesn't get stiff and um, try that so there we go and then Kish, Kish Flamingo that's my last one pop that it blends beautifully into the red and into the purple there we go now let me just take a look I just need to put a tiny little bit of yellow up in this top corner just because I can see where my die cut embossed my die embossed earlier so I need that to be there a little bit more there we go so lovely rainbow finish there beautiful okay so now we need to die cut this and you just need to be very careful about positioning this die back exactly where it was before because of course you're going to have those uh, lines on there now it depends really about whether uh, how deeply you embossed it I didn't emboss it very deep at all so usually if you've done a deep emboss a little wiggle we'll kind of put it back 
in place and then you just need some low tack tape now really good low tack tape I rave about this all the time is the craft stash low tack tape so let's just find the end of this usually the end is saved because it's on this reel but for whatever reason I've lost it today where are you come on isn't it always the way you always lose it there it is so usually it sits on the dispenser but I've chucked it in my bag and it's come off but this is a fantastic low tack tape from craft stash you actually get um, three of the rolls and the dispenser and it's only about 4 99 for everything it's an absolute bargain okay so I'm going to take out the, the mat now and I'm going to put this one back in like so I've got that taped down so I can flip that over I always like to die cut upwards just a preference of mine you don't have to do it that way at all there we go and let's Oh, love that noise that always means it's cutting beautifully and if your plate as your plates come through if your plates bounce like this if you see them bounce like this do not bring your plates back through without repositioning and taping down because chances are if this has moved your die cut under here has moved and then yeah you don't want to be uh, running that back through and causing a double cut so that's my waist so let's just pop that away you can see that's cut beautifully there we go. just going to do that I'm going to be very careful with this actually just going to look over it yeah make sure everything's cut perfectly because I think what I'm going to do while I'm here is make a second background just because I can. oops just because I can that's my um <laughs> that's my chair is squeaky so what I'm going to do now a couple of them have fallen out but I'm just going to take some glue while I'm here like I said this isn't part of the card that I was planning but since I'm here I'm just going to put some glue on the sun rays now the sun rays are the pieces that I was going to take out but they've got that lovely ink blend on them so we may as well use them while we're here so some glue on those Let's just straighten this up. There we go. Make sure it's straight on my mat underneath. And pop that back in there. And pop this one back in as well. I'll move that other one in a second. Glue and glue. Okay. Now I'm just going to use my tweezers to very carefully reposition these ones that have fallen out. Be very careful and you plan to do this right at the beginning you shouldn't have any issues with these falling out they should all stay in but I'm just going to have to move them ever so slightly come on there's one there we go okay now I'm just going to take this and I will probably trim this down so I'm going to put it to the edge of the card press down a card blank over all of these do you notice I put my glue just in the centre of each ray as well? It didn't go too close to the edge. I didn't want it to catch on the sun ray that I want to keep, the background that I want to keep. So just move everything back into position. Lovely. And then we should be able to lift this up. Beautiful. Perfect. Keeping the sun rays in place. There we go. So there's another background that I can cut down and use another time. And this is what I want to be using today. Isn't it gorgeous? Doesn't matter which way I use it. And this is the um, adhesive sheet, the foam adhesive sheet. Absolutely wonderful. So I can cut these. Um, something else I can then do again with the excess is off the backing of the rays that I'm going to be leaving not using and put embossing powder on them and maybe I'll have to do that in another video for you so there's so much you can do with this die I mean I'm literally using the one die really for this background and there's so many other cards you could be making using it so using the excess and the waste just pop this out 
there we go. That's the side. So that's my frame. I've cut that. That's my die. Now with this, what I tend to do is keep everything intact if I can. This this is how I find is the easiest way to adhere things. I need to take some of that pokey tool or your pair of tweezers remove the backing now i'm just going to before i do that i'm just going to make sure that i've got this the right way around remove the backing of the bit that you want it should pretty much come off all together quite well so peel, gently peeling this off this what this is going to do is prevent that foam from stretching as you're pulling backing off and things like that because once it's occasionally stretches it's really hard to put onto the onto a die cut but as you can see here, no stretching means it fits over absolutely perfectly. Gorgeous. Okay, so pop this out. Keep this because I'll use all of this. And pop out the sun rays as well. Doesn't take long. So these are the bits. Like I say they're sticky back and front. You could adhere them to uh, another card. I mean, use your die as a template if you want to get them in place and pop some glitter or let's say some embossing powder or something like that onto them it's really actually quite therapeutic putting these taking these pieces out and there we go can just pop out like a jigsaw and of course because this is adhesive this is also going to easily stick onto the card now i did have the red in the top corner but i quite like having the brighter colors at the top and then the slightly deeper colours down at the bottom. So now it's quite sturdy and I can just line that up with my card base. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so all I need now is a sentiment for that. This is all about friendship today, celebrating National um, Friendship Week or Day. I think it's the day actually rather than the week. So I'm going to cut the sentiments that come with the die set. You are my sunshine. I love that. So I'm just going to cut these from white. And put these through my die cutting machine. I always think I'm done with my die cutting and then I realise absolutely not. So pop those on there. And I think when you've got a nice, really bright coloured card, you need some, um, some contrast just to make your sentence stand out sometimes. Sometimes white is okay, other times you need a little bit of black. So that's why I'm cutting these from white and I'm going to be putting them onto a black base. So just make sure my words are in there and not stuck in the die cutting machine. There we go. So you are ah, my sunshine, there we go. And then I'm going to put these, like I say, at the black, I'm going to put them onto here. So I'm going to place them onto here with using, I need a really small, I've got one here somewhere, a really small glue applicator. I have got one here somewhere, there we go. So let's start with You Are My, pop all the little pieces out. So don't forget to go along to all of the videos on the blog hop there's only five so there's you know there's not too many but pop along to each one come on glue there you go you're ever so fine uh, and then once you finish that you can go along to the craft stash channels now i'm going to leave a gap here and see why in a moment there we go go along to the craft stash channels and enter to win that wonderful big bundle um, I know um, Christina and her last video she is uh, adding one of the items to the bundle and yeah there's a lot more so one lucky winner is going to get all of those so you are I'm using the top of the cardstock here to kind of measure whereabouts or how straight these are use it as a guide but I like the font on these it kind of lets you get away with not being quite as neat perhaps as you might like you are my and then over here i'm going to do sunshine oh i've still got the little 
disc in the S, no, in the E there at the end. And come over here again, leaving a gap at the end. I'm doing sunshine. Now the glue will dry clear. The glue I've got in here is uh, Creative Expressions, so I know that will dry clear. Okay, now I'm going to take my trimmer and take the bottom off of these. It's nice and neat. Uh, let's pop it round this way so I can see where I'm cutting. I think that's about right. Oh, it feels nervous doing that, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Okay. My Creative Craft Products trimmer. And now, lastly, I need a small pair of scissors. I'm going to leave those gaps again. I'm going to make these into flags. So the way I do nice even flags is I snip down the middle and then I come in from each corner. And I'm using embroidery scissors because they've got such a sharp point on them. Now that's maybe a little bit too long. Make sure that is a nice right angle as well before you cut your banner. Sunshine. I've got a, that song in my head about sunshine lollipops. I will not start singing. There we go. So you are my sunshine. Um, before I pop those on, just so that I don't get any um, black ink onto my white letters, excuse my chair, is I'm just going to take a bit of black ink. This is Dilutions Ink Spray. And I just unscrew the bottle and I just flick a little bit of ink there just from the, the tube that's down there. It doesn't waste much at all. I don't have to pump it or anything. I just dip it in and flick it. And then lastly, we just need some foam tape on here. And I'm just looking because I've got craft slash foam tape. I've got a couple of different lengths or widths. This one's perfect. It's around about a centimetre wide. One. Whoop. Away, just allowing that black to dry for a moment. So hopefully you visited Helen's um, blog or Facebook. Uh, it's not Facebook, it's YouTube, isn't it? Her YouTube channel already. And that's led you on to here. I'd love it if you could um, subscribe while you're here. I think I do believe to be in with a chance of winning that final prize, you need to subscribe to all the channels along with Vlog Hop. So uh, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Uh, and let me know if you're a new follower. I'd love to know if you're a new follower and what you think to this little project. And go ahead and watch some of the other videos I've got on my channel as well. I'll clean that up in a minute. So there we go. There's a really quick card. Absolutely perfect for celebrating uh, National Friendship Day here with the lovely uh, rainbow colours. And you are my sunshine. So thank you to Helen Griffin um, for sending me this set to work with. I've absolutely loved it. Now I'm going to be forwarding on to another one of my friends within the Craft Stash family. I'm going to forward on uh, the watercolour inks. Now these are from my textures range. Uh, these are the urban ones. So that's got the black, the brown, the red, the blue and the purple. I love these. Um, you can probably see from the packaging actually they've got ink splats and all sorts over them. Um, Sheena really loves her watercolours as well so I'm going to pass these on to Sheena and if you head along to her YouTube channel she's next in the blog hop and you'll be able to see her video uh, maybe using these a little bit and see what she forwards on to someone else as well so thank you for joining me please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to go through all the videos in the blog hop and of course enter at the very end to win that huge prize. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Take care and have a lovely weekend.